Jeannie Mai is devastated by the news that this divorce is even happening. So it sounds to me that she was a little blindsided. Although, according to court documents, he's been plotting this divorce since June. For me, if I'm really honest, um, knowing what I know now about who I married, I wouldn't have married him. So it looks like Jeannie Mai still hasn't given up hope on keeping her family together after her husband of two years, Jeezy, filed for divorce earlier this month. And despite Jeezy seemingly dissing Jeannie on Instagram, Jeannie is now begging him to change his mind. However, fans are saying that Jeannie just needs to let it go because Jeezy is a walking, talking red flag and he's known for love bombing women. And then once he gets them, he drops them for the next one. But that's not all because it looks like Jeezy is now also accusing Jeannie of having no family values. Despite despite the fact that he's the one who has kids with three different women. Well, Jeannie has finally addressed all the speculations surrounding Jeezy's divorce filing, so let's break it all down. It's just crazy. You hear all the time that money can change people. Well, divorce can really change people. Another day, another Hollywood divorce. Rapper Jeezy has filed for divorce from the real host, Jeannie Mai, after two years of marriage. And Jeannie's having a really tough time accepting that Jeezy made her a single mom, and she's desperately trying to get him to change his mind. The news came as a complete shock to fans as well, because just a week before Jeezy filed for divorce, Jeannie posted this sweet video of her and Jeezy's daughter, Monaco, and there were really no signs that Jeannie and Jeezy's marriage was in trouble. Also back in May, Jeannie, who was born to a Chinese Vietnamese father and a Vietnamese mother, surprised Jeezy with a trip to Vietnam for their anniversary and documented the trip for her YouTube channel. Jeezy and I are in a place where this trip has taken on even greater of a significance because we're no longer a couple that's just exploring new horizons together. We're now a family. Jeezy and I have been blessed with the gift of beautiful Monaco, who's a blend of both of our worlds, being half black and Vietnamese. So now, we're two years into our marriage and before things could get any crazier, I had to honor my OG vision to take daddy to Vietnam for the very first time. But now it turns out that while Jeannie was planning this trip, thinking it would bring her and Jeezy even closer together, Jeezy was planning the divorce. Jeezy filed the divorce papers on Thursday, September 14th in Atlanta, Georgia, and according to court documents obtained by People, Jeezy's filing states that he and Jeannie are currently living in a bona fide state of separation and that their marriage is irretrievably broken with no hope for reconciliation. The filing further states that Jeezy is asking for joint legal custody of Monaco, who will turn two next January. So what happened? How did Jeannie go from gushing about her perfect husband to now begging him to withdraw his divorce filing? Well, there's been a lot of speculation online over the past few weeks about Jeezy's decision to file. However, it looks like Jeezy is now trying to paint Jeannie as a bad mother and wife. Shortly after news broke that Jeezy had filed for divorce, a source close to Jeezy told Entertainment Tonight that Jeezy decided to file the papers because he realized that he and Jeannie have different views on marriage and family. According to the insider, Jeezy and Jeannie weren't on the same page when it came to certain family values and expectations. They had different views and each felt like their needs weren't being completely met, the source added. However, fans thought this made no sense because wouldn't Jeezy discuss Jeannie's views on marriage and family before he proposed to her? Also, fans called out Jeezy for being a hypocrite because his dating history shows he's the one who doesn't care about family values. Not only does Jeezy have three other kids with three different women, but he was also previously arrested for physically attacking his son and threatening to shoot him. Back in September 2012, Jeezy was arrested in Atlanta for battery, false imprisonment, and making threats against his son, Jadarius, who was around 15 at the time. Jeezy shares Jadarius with his ex, Tanisha Dykes, and according to the police report obtained by TMZ, Jeezy attacked his son, tried to lock him in the house, and made threats to his life. The report states that Jadarius tried to escape the beating, but Jeezy's bodyguard blocked the stairwell, and Jeezy told his son, I will put a bullet in your head right now. If I could get away with it, I would kill you. Jeezy later turned himself in and was released after posting a $45,000 bond. Then, after he ended things with Jadarius's mom, Tanisha, Jeezy got engaged to an Ethiopian artist and musician named Malet. They welcomed daughter Amara in February 2014, and Jeezy proposed to Malet in 2016. However, the engagement didn't last long, and Jeezy called it off in 2018, right around the time he met Jeannie. Besides that, according to Hollywood Life, Jeezy has one more child, a son named Shaiheim Jenkins. However, the identity of his biological mother is not known. So yeah, Jeezy may not be the right person to preach about family values. 
However, despite getting dragged by fans for trying to demonize Jeannie and paint himself as a victim, Jeezy has allegedly also accused Jeannie of cheating on him with Mario Lopez. Back in August, Jeannie shared a video on her Instagram documenting her week-long hosting Access Hollywood with Mario, and some fans criticized Jeannie for letting Mario kiss her daughter. Many fans also noticed that Jeannie and Mario's chemistry was off the charts, and this apparently didn't sit right with Jeezy. However, Jeannie has now shut down these rumors, and she claims infidelity is not the reason behind Jeezy's divorce filing. A source close to Jeannie told TMZ that there's absolutely no truth to any rumblings of infidelity between her, Mario Lopez, or with anyone else, for that matter. Meanwhile, Jeezy has seemingly started throwing some shade at Jeannie on Instagram, and shortly after he filed the divorce papers, he posted a series of photos showing off his expensive car collection and wrote in the caption, too focused on who I'm becoming to focus on who's not coming with me. So it looks like Jeezy is 100% done with Jeannie. However, Jeannie is still not giving up, and according to the latest reports, she's determined to fight for her marriage. A source close to Jeannie told Page Six that Jeannie still wants her family unit back and is hoping Jeezy will change his mind about the divorce. The truth is, Jeannie wants her marriage to work and wants her family to be one solid unit, the source said. She is devastated that Jeezy filed for divorce. And what makes this situation even more difficult for Jeannie is the fact that it wasn't until she met Jeezy that she realized she wanted to have a baby, and she apparently never believed Jeezy would do what he did to his exes and make her a single mother. Before Jeezy, Jeannie was married to reality TV star and producer Freddie Hartis for 10 years. However, Jeannie was hesitant about having kids with Freddie, which was probably the right decision, because Freddie reportedly ended up cheating on Jeannie with his now wife, Lindsay Tool. Jeannie's mixed feelings about being a mom also stemmed from her childhood trauma that resulted in her not speaking to her own mom for almost a decade. Back in 2019, Jeannie revealed that she was repeatedly essayed starting at age nine by a male family member who was hired to babysit her. Every day, the touching continued a little bit more. Him taking off some of my clothes. We used to have the bathroom in your room. I remember him pulling me into that shower, and it was the first time I've ever seen a grown man and what he looked like. I was still nine years old. I remember him telling me to touch him in certain ways. However, when Jeannie finally told her mom what was going on, her mom didn't believe her, and Jeannie left home at 16. Jeannie and her mom didn't speak for nine years, and it was only recently that Jeannie's mom accepted that Jeannie was telling the truth about the essay. But let's hear your thoughts on this. Is Jeannie wrong for begging Jeezy to change his mind about the divorce? Comment down below.